What's up, everybody? Happy 2019 to you all. This is Ash for the Triple S League. I'm here with Subsidian, as always. So in the latter part of 2018, we saw some stock value drops in some major game companies, as well as some other tech companies sort of across the board. There's a lot of concern about this. Some people are wondering if we are seeing the next big video game industry crash. So Subsidian's been doing some digging into this, and uh, he's going to let us know what he has found out and what we're actually looking at here. So I've talked to a couple people that are inside the industry and then outside the industry that are professionals in the financial system. And here's what we've got. We've had a video game crash before. Back in the early days, we had the Atari games and that stuff kind of crashed in on itself. And once we had the introduction of 3D games, we had a bit of a crash there as well. That wasn't a crash industry-wide. Some companies failed to make the jump from 2D games to 3D games or they spent way too much money on it, or their game didn't sell as well, and so we had a lot of crashes there as well, but there was a lot of bigger companies failing, and then what were small companies at the time basically stepping in to take their place. So we don't have that here. So what's going on right now? We look at EA, we look at Blizzard, we look at Ubisoft, we look at Sony even, we look at a whole bunch of these other game companies, and basically most of them have had major fallouts in the last year in their stocks. EA is down in massive numbers. Blizzard is down massive numbers. But some people are saying that this is a technology stock drop across the board and it's not limited to just video game stock. And that's not necessarily true. Now, you look at a company like Apple, they started the year at about $172 and they're gonna finish the year probably around $156. So that's a $20 drop. However, in the October period, which is was, was the highlight for a lot of these companies, they were up around 232. Other companies like Microsoft, which they started the year down around 85, and they had that same, you know, back in October peak at 115. However, they're now finishing the year at 100, which is 15 bucks more than, than they were at the beginning of the year. And that's really good news for them because they're they're up. Now this, this goes across the whole technology board is there's lots of companies that have lost considerably and then there's other companies that are kind of holding steady. Pretty much all of them had this October bump, but that's the same for pretty much all stocks right now across the board. The NASDAQ, the S&P 500, these are all stocks that had kind of this big jump and right now they're down a little bit. Now, what's the cause of this? Well, there's tons of things that affect this. And you know, if anybody could perfectly call this stuff ahead of time, they would of course be billionaires. What we're seeing is actually just a bunch of different things affecting the stock market in general and stock markets in the technology field were a little bit overpriced and there was a bit of a correction that was done. So all this means is that we're seeing a crash of certain companies. There are a handful of companies that are in considerable danger right now. EA, obviously, uh, Blizzard actually a lot more than they'd like to admit because there's a lot more problems going on there at, at Activision than they'd like to admit. There is some real concern. And if they don't nail the next two games released, they're gonna be in real hot water. If Activision has another bad year of underperforming, they're gonna be in even more hot water and that's gonna drag down both companies. This doesn't affect other companies and we'll get to that in a minute here. EA without a good release, if Anthem falls through and if they end up losing their court case with a couple of these European countries concerning the loot boxes, they're gonna crash really, really hard. And I've said this a bunch before, when you're a billion dollar company, you might think, you know, no billion dollar company can go bankrupt. Well, the more you have, the faster you lose it. And we saw this with Telltale this year, they hit the ground really hard, really fast. There was very little warning that they were going down so hard and so fast. So this is gonna affect some companies more than others. So what is the common thread between the companies whose stock values are falling more than the average? Because we're looking at sort of a general downturn in the last couple of months across the board, as we've talked about, but a lot of companies are still worth more now than they were January 1st of 2018. So what is the common thread with the ones that are actually losing value over the course of the entire year? It really boils down to how much they rely on that uh, funding. If you go back to 2016, most of these stocks are quadruple what they were worth back then, which is why the, the tech stock basically was just over, it was worth way too much. And there's been a self-correction. This is only gonna affect companies that looked at this massive jump in the last two years and basically bet their entire company on it. And that's where you're gonna see a crash, is in those companies. 
if you basically just put it in the bank or you you know it wasn't structured so that you relied on it in that way then basically it's it's fine that that's okay okay now for some companies this is going to snowball on them because of you know you've over invested into a number of titles and none of them have paid you back and that's that's ea right now ea has done a massive investment in several major titles and all of them have failed recently so that that leaves them with a, one or two hopes for future games and if those don't go through then we can definitely start to see massive hemorrhaging. Right, there's massive investments going into these titles. Now these companies are so huge and they're relying on massive sales. They're relying on the game doing really, really well. And uh, if that doesn't happen, then you have one minor downturn in the market like this and you're in big trouble. Mm -hmm. My takeaway from this as, as a gamer is something we've echoed throughout the year and that is that the these game companies, they need to, in addition to managing their companies well, and having that solid financial foundation, as you've talked about, they need to treat their fans with respect. Mm -hmm. And if they're not going to do that, you know, none of these companies are too big to fail. So if, they, if the gamers don't show up to buy your game, bottom line, uh, you're in big trouble. Yeah, and the two biggest things to look out for is going to be Blizzard and EA. Because these are the two biggest companies right now that have failed to connect with the gamers that clearly aren't listening to their gamers that are basically saying, look, we don't care what you think, we don't care what you want, we're gonna make and sell and create products that you might not be happy with, but we, at the end of the day, we don't care. If this continues to happen, then, then yes, these companies will crash, but this, in fact, will help other companies when they're releasing. If EA and Activision publish no games in the next year and a half, that leaves the field open for a lot of smaller companies to make really, really good games and put that out. So a company like Obsidian, you know, that's under Microsoft, which Microsoft stocks, like we said, are doing quite well. They could find themselves publishing a game and being able to like really do quite well on it for sales. Just the sales go through the roof, which means that they'll be able to put more money into the next game that they make. If suddenly there's nothing to play because all the big boys are out licking their wounds, then you can step forward as an indie developer and you can potentially have a massive increase in sales. You were estimating maybe, you know, 100,000 units or something like that, and maybe you end up pushing 2 million units. So this is huge. Okay, so bottom line, we're seeing a general correction in the market, but game companies do need to be careful. They do need to make sure they're pleasing their fans and putting out a good product and managing themselves well. Otherwise, they could see some serious consequences from things like this. Thank you, Saab, for digging into that and giving us the info on it. You can check out Eric Stockhausen on YouTube. We'll put a link in the description. Uh, he's He's been helpful in this aspect of understanding all of these financial things. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Don't forget to slam that like button and that subscribe button so you can catch all of our updates. We will talk to you later. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, sub, and hit that notification bell. And then check out some of these other videos. Find the link to our Discord server and other important stuff in the description below.